So as promised, here are some properties that summation notation obeys. Um, now, all of these, uh, although they can look intimidating at first if you're not used to summation notation, they're all saying basic common sense things that you already understand about addition, okay? And in some cases, multiplication, right? The first one is just saying that if you take a number and you add it to itself, right, n times, well, you're going to get n times that number. That's all it's saying, right? The second one is, is just observing that if you're doing a1 plus b1 and then a2 plus b2 and so on down to a n plus b n, you could rearrange this sum as a1, you know, you could do the a's and then the b's. Right? That's all it's saying. Okay. Um, this one is just the distributive property, right? This says if you have k times a1 plus k times, oops, sorry, k times a2, down to k times a n, so you've got k as a common multiple, you can factor it out. Right. Again, something we know. Uh, now, this one here is a little bit trickier. Well, it's not. It looks really intimidating, right? Look at all these. There's I, there's M, there's a J, J plus 1, N, right? So many symbols, right? What is it saying? All, is it, all it's saying is that if you do A, M, M plus 1 to some point A, J, okay? And then you continue with the next one, J plus 1, down to a n, well, all it's saying is that you can, you can remove these two parentheses, right? You can just do this as one, one long list, right? one sum, right? You, don't, you, you can group things, right? Addition is associative. You can regroup those parentheses if you want. That's all it's saying, right? Or read from right to left, you can break this sum into two pieces. Um, so typically where this is used, right, you'll notice that a lot of these have the summation beginning at 1, right? In particular, these formulas have the summation beginning at 1, right? So this number 5 tells you how to add up the first n integers, right? So there's a nice little formula here. Um, there's, uh, there, there's one proof for this formula that's attributed um, to, to uh, Carl Friedrich Gauss. Um, said that he did this when he was, when he was a little kid. Teacher tried to keep him busy, told him to go add up the numbers one through a thousand or something like that. Um, and so instead of actually doing it by hand, he sat down and said, hey, okay, well, I'm doing one plus two, you know, up to up to a thousand, right? Oh, but I could also do that as, you know, thousand plus nine ninety-nine, you know, down to one. And he said, okay, but you know, I, if I if I add that up, I've got, you know, thousand and one. What's a thousand and one? You know, well, a thousand times, right? And there's a thousand of these. So he said, so my answer is going to be, well, it's a thousand and one, right? But I, I'm adding that a thousand times. Uh, oh, but, you know, that's twice the sum that I really wanted, so my original answer I should divide by two. Cool, right? Yeah. Um, these other ones are, are a little bit more difficult to, to establish. Um, typically, you'd use proof by mathematical induction to, to show those. Um, there, there are some algebraic tricks that you can use once you have this one. Um, there are some fairly kind of tedious things that you can do, uh, some tricks to try and get the other ones out, but it, it takes a bit of work. So um, maybe we'll, we'll leave those. You can take those on faith if you like. Um, or, or you can look up proofs and convince yourselves that actually they are true. Um, so a as a quick example, um, remember I mentioned that this sum here should give you n squared, right? Um, and I said, well, you know, that's another thing that you would maybe learn to prove by induction in a more advanced course. 
But let's see how we can do that using some of these properties. Using these properties, right, what I can do is I can say, well, this sum on the right is the sum of, of 2i minus the sum of 1. And I can factor out the 2 here, right, i. One, right? So, so far I'm using these, these algebraic properties here. But now I can use summation formulas. Um, one and five. I'll use one with c equal to one. And so I have um, two times n times n plus one over two minus n. Okay, so twos cancel. Multiply that n through, I have n squared plus n minus n. And that gives us n squared as promised.